Hello and welcome to the last video of 2023. We made it. We made it to the last video for this year. And last week we had Merry Eve of Christmas Eve. And today we have Merry Eve of New Year's Eve. And we are sending the year out with my $5 pattern of the month. I'm gonna put it up just a little bit early this last month just because it makes sense to put it up today. So this pattern is my $5 pattern of the month. It is Make It Modern, a lot of color to end the year with. And I have something fun, this quilt, I've got it in this big version, but I've got this version here that you see on my cutting table. It's a small version, the pattern includes both sizes. And this smaller one was quilted by Angela Walter. So I'm gonna show you the quilting on that one in just a little bit after we finished talking about the larger quilt. So for those of you new here, $5 pattern of the month happens every month. This would actually be the $5 pattern of the month for January 2024. And you can take advantage of the $5 pattern sale over in my Etsy shop. It is currently available in both paper and PDF. Sometimes the paper patterns do sell out. So if you are a paper pattern fan, I always suggest that you purchase sooner in the month rather than later in the month in case it does happen to sell out. But I will have that linked below, the link over to my Etsy shop where you would purchase. This quilt, as I said, has two different sizes. There's also a sneaky little third version I'll talk about in this pattern too, but two different sizes. This larger cover quilt that you see here is 72 by 96, so a, a roomy quilt. But then the smaller version is a 48 by 60 throw size quilt, so a much smaller quilt depending on which your preference might be. Let's take this down. I want to show you the quilting up close a little bit and talk about those fabrics just a little bit. And here she is up close. The quilting on this is Modern Loops, which I think works really well with this simple design. This is a very easy quilt to piece. It is simply rectangles and half square triangles and then squares repeat until you have the design. So it's a simple quilt to piece and a fun one. It'll go pretty fast. The fabrics for this version are a mix of Tucker Prairie by One Canoe Two and Simply Colorful Two by V and Co. And those are, were both for Moda. These fabrics are older fabrics. This pattern actually came out in 2015. So Older fabrics for sure. Um, so what I do when I have a quilt pattern that maybe the fabrics are harder to come by is I will recolor that pattern in new fabrics that are in quilt shops right now or will soon be in quilt shops. I recolor the quilt over on my blog and share those images there so that you have an idea what the quilt would look like in fabrics that are currently available. So I have that linked down below in the description box so that you can gather that information easily. Here is what it looks like in these fabrics. The binding is a scrappy binding, you can see. And the backing is this beautiful print by One Canoe Two. So that is what the main cover quilt looks like. And here is the smaller version of the quilt. This is a fun one for me to share because it was one of the first quilts that I had in a magazine, probably back in 2012, 2013, something like that. I was working with RJR Fabrics to showcase their line of solids. And we did a number of different projects together where I would design kind of a modern solids quilt using their line of solid quilting cottons. And so this was one that I designed and then it was in a magazine. And then a couple years after the magazine was out, I released it as the individual pattern. But this one was quilted by Angela Walters, as I said at the beginning of the video, before a lot of us were heavily involved in the quilting industry, we kind of ran in the same online circles. So I have a number of quilts that Angela quilted for me um, back at the beginning of her long arming days. And so I want to show you the quilting on this one. And this is that quilting up close. I always think Angela does such an amazing job of doing interesting quilting designs in negative space. And I just think it's so pretty. 
the way the quilting on this quilt is. You know, for such a simple quilt and it's solids, uh, that quilting just really elevates this quilt. Of course, as you saw on the larger quilt and all over, quilting pattern works really nicely, but sometimes when you have all of that negative space, it's fun just to utilize that in an interesting way. So I think that's really pretty. You can see the quilting design even better on the back, but that's what it looks like on the back of the quilt. I just think that's so fun. So I was excited to share this with you. I know some of you have probably seen it over on my blog or maybe you were a quilt magazine purchaser back in the day and you might have a copy of the magazine. I don't remember the name of the magazine offhand. It's no longer being published and the name of it escapes my mind. But um, in any event, this is what the quilt looks like and I'm excited to share it with you today. Now I did mention that there is also kind of a sneaky little third option for this quilt. And it is if you wanted to make the whole thing scrappy. It is instructions for changing the solid portions of this quilt into scrappy sections. So it would be a 48 by 60 inch scrappy version of this smaller quilt in the pattern. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you have enjoyed the videos I've shared over 2023. I almost said 2024, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm looking forward to sharing more in the upcoming year. We have some fun things planned. There's new fabric. There's already new fabric that I'll be showing you very soon that I'm excited to share about. Um, more Saturday socials. I'm excited to share more of those. And it's just been so much fun getting to know all of you. I love reading your comments. I love when you pop by to say hi, and I hope to continue chatting with you in the months ahead. As always, if you have any questions about anything I shared today, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I do my very best to answer all of those as they come in or within a few days of them coming in if I get a little bit swamped over the weekend. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I wish you the very best finishing up 2023 and the best in 2024. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll catch you again next time.